For this video, we're going to have a chase cam that follows a player. For this, we're going to use something called Cinemachine. So we're going to go to Package Manager. I'm going to look for Cinemachine and install it. Once you're done installing, I'm going to go to Cinemachine and create virtual camera. So we now have a virtual camera here. We need to designate the follow target and look at target. We're going to go to the player and I'm going to look for the spine. Maybe somewhere around the upper body. I want the camera to look at this spine. So I'm going to drag it into the follow as well as look at. If I click play, Because our character turns instantly, 180 degrees, we see the camera going from the left side to right side instantly. We don't want that. So I'm going to change the binding mode to world space and play again. So we now see that the camera is always on this side. And make sure you check whether this is on or off. If you have saved during play, you can save all these settings during runtime. So now I'm going to click play and start changing these settings. Let me change the game window. First, I'm going to have some dead zone. Dead zone means the camera is going to stop chasing if it's inside this box. I think the camera is too close. So I'm going to change the X here to maybe 7. I'm also going to change the soft dead zone. I think it's way too big by default. So bring it down a little bit. And I don't want the camera right in the center. I want it to look slightly more to the left because I want more screen here. So change that. I also want more screen on the up side of the player. So maybe something like this. Maybe this is a little too much. Okay. Let me maximize and see what it's like. We can also get rid of the guides here for a second. Okay. I think the camera is still too close. I also want the chase to be smoother, so I'm going to increase the damping here. Okay, so it lags behind a little bit. I want the Y damping to be much higher. Maybe something like this. Let me maximize the screen. See what it's like. Looks like there's something wrong with the renderer. I don't know what's going on here. I think there's a serious problem with the calling system. So let me take a look at the enemies here. Let me get rid of the render at the top of the hierarchy. We don't need this. Okay, and I'm also going to go into the animation and choose always animate. Okay, let me click apply. Do the same thing with the player. Get rid of the render that uses standard shader. And I don't want any calling options. And apply. Let me play again, see what happens. Okay, looks good. Normally, calling occurs when you don't want to render anything that is outside the camera. But 
looks like there was a bug where the calling doesn't get turned off even when the object comes back. I don't know what's going on, but always animate should fix it. And I think we got the chase cam right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That'll be it for today. Thanks for watching.